Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about elderly care in pandemic. Myself, uh, Dr. Suresh Badadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, Head of Telemedicine Center, Head of Forensic Psychiatry Services at Nimans, Bangalore. Elderly population in India, they are also called as senior citizens. That means who has attained the age of 60 years or above. There are approximately 10 crore population in India who are above 60 years. This is as per census 2011. These elderly population also have physical comorbidity or else they also have medical conditions like diabetes, hypertension, joint pain, cataract. The percentage is around 45 to 55 percent. That is around 50 percent of them have one or the other physical condition or what we call it as a medical condition who require attention from the doctors. At the same time, they also have psychiatric conditions like depression, anxiety, dementia, delirium. They are around 30 to 40 percent of this population. Along with this, they also have something called as disability. That means around 5 to 8 percent of the population of elderly have disability. They require assistance on activities of daily living like bathing, brushing, wearing dress, having food, going to toilet, all these activities, they require support and assistance. What is the effect of coronavirus infection on these elderly population or on the senior citizens? A study done in Lancet, that is basically an observational study, what we call it as a retrospective study. It was just published on 9th of March. It is called as a clinical course and risk factors for mortality of adult in inpatient with COVID-19, basically from one city. In this study, when they found that the people who had died, what is their demographic details? What are their characteristics? They found the maximum people who died were above the age of 60 years. Many of them had hypertension, diabetes, coronary artery disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic kidney disease and cancer patients. So these were the characteristics of the patients who died in Wuhan city. Similar findings can also be seen in the world meters, in the fatality rate by age. In a given age group, the risk of dying if they are infected by COVID-19, basically coronavirus, if you look at the topmost, 80 plus, 70 to 79, 60 to 69, the percentage of people, they are going to die is between something around 3.6 to 14 or uh, approximately 21%. That means out of 100, 21 of them are going to die. So by these two of this observation, we can easily conclude that increasing age increases the risk of death after coronavirus infection. So the elderly population are at risk if they get infected with coronavirus. And the least is children. Similar findings have been seen by Center of our Disease Control and Prevention from United States of America. Eight out of 10 deaths are from the group of elderly. They also found that chronic lung disease, having asthma, serious heart condition, above the age of 65, immunocompromised, AIDS, cancer treatment patients, steroids, severe obesity, diabetes, chronic kidney disease and who are undergoing dialysis and liver disease. They were at the high risk of dying if they develop, if they are infected with coronavirus. In such a scenario, how to provide care for elderly population during pandemic? like COVID-19. Again, the key is routine. Make the elderly population need to have a schedule, timetable. They need to be engaged in day-to-day -day activities. And also by structuring the day, that gives a sense of control over one's own life. The reason being is during this lockdown, the elderly population are within the house and they are not moved to, they are not allowed to go outside. This causes a sense of uncertainty chaos in their mind. So having a routine definitely helps. And the second important point is a concept called as cocooning. See, to protect the people over the age of 70 years by making them to stay at home and keeping minimum contact with other family members for a period of two to three weeks. This basically they are made to stay inside the house and if possible in a single room and they have been requested to not to interact with other family members for a period of two to three weeks. And they are not allowed to go outside the house unless there is a serious uh, issue which they need to attend. 
can we do this in india where maximum population is poor and they don't have what we call it as a single room exclusively for uh, geriatric population or what we call it as elderly population so or else can we send them to geriatric care facility elderly home nursing home can we send them to elderly home no this is a wrong thing to do at this point of time see the elderly population requires familiar surrounding familiar faces familiar people around them familiar voices do matter a lot to elderly population even just an hospitalization in a geriatric population has a definitely impact on their mental health to we have to avoid such decisions especially during coronavirus infection and the home care is the best care possible on this earth so as much as possible please do provide care at home not to shift them to any geriatric care facility or elderly home the issue here is whatever you do autonomy is the prime the elderly population they are your parents they know what they want and they are the decision makers once upon a time now just because you are the decision maker do not impose your decision on the senior citizen every decision has to be discussed with and even if the issue of cocooning is planned it has to be discussed and consent has to be taken and please do consider making your home a corona free home making frequent hand washing cleaning avoiding face to face contact as much as possible in real life it can be replaced with virtual meeting use technology for interaction that gives a sense of what we call it as a security and also leveraging the technology during this pandemic and the other issue is staying away staying away from the children especially grandchildren see the uh, elderly population they are attached to their grandchildren and the grandchildren also love the uh, elderly population so as much as possible explaining the grand grandparents and also grandkids about the issue of coronavirus how does it spread and keeping for a period of one month away from each other do a do play a major role hand washing is a must wearing mask for the people who are providing support for elderly population uh, minimizes the risk of infection uh, but it's 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 a one essential uh, issue because many a time this elderly population who are disabled requires a support or a health worker from coming from outside so i have to be very careful with these health workers the health workers uh, history has to be taken properly and make sure that they are not exposed to any kind of coronavirus and they do not have any history of fever and also the elderly population are having physical illness so make sure that they are taking medicines regularly and if they have any issue please do do consultation over telemedicine use technology for making them safe and socialize by virtually and this technology should be used for connectedness make them part of decision making not make them your decision so that should not happen and the most important point is diet and exercise even if you are planning for cocooning and if they are going to stay in a single room you have to have something called as preventive health and also therapeutic diet so what we call it as preventive health is basically fruits vegetables protein calcium vitamin d has to be provided in adequate uh, quantity and quality at the same time uh, if they are diabetic diabetic uh, diet avoiding high sugar high sugar uh, diet should be avoided medicine should be given uh, regularly and make sure that the medicine do not run out of stocks because during this pandemic there is a lockout many a time those medicines may not be available easily simple exercises in the room do it do play a major role meditation prayer also take them a long way cognitive tasks like reading writing singing solving puzzles video game do play a major role in keeping them very active and also cognitively very sharp sleep hygiene do a play a major role like sleeping at the right time getting up at the right time not to sleep not to sleep in the afternoon and also not to have coffee tea any stimulants after evening 5 o'clock play a major role having a good sleep to conclude this coronavirus infection has a thrown a huge challenge on the humanity to protect our elderly population now we have to stand together and protect our senior citizen thanks for listening